I was very inspired by um, Kawala's talk this morning, and she mentioned that the key to success is pro-development oriented governments and good governance. And if I had a shot and I could sort of, you know, make do magic, uh, I would wish that we could direct more resources and uh, we could uh, invest more resources into improving governance systems because that will have a tremendous effect on the way our partner governments can work on the way how they can provide resources and capacities also to farming communities, for example, to communities in the rural areas, uh, but also the way uh, we can jointly uh, cooperate. And that would be fantastic uh, if we could yeah, use that lever of good governance and improved rural governance, for example, uh, to bring forward rural development uh, to a next level. I think I have several key takeaways. I think, uh, for example, when we look at issues such as biodiversity or um, agroecology, for example, uh, I see that countries discuss it and uh, we see a lot, lot of uh, concepts, for example, climate sensitive agriculture. Uh, but I think also at the same time, we see lots of challenges. Um, making rural development programs, agriculture programs more oriented to biodiversity questions, for example, um, is a challenge for many of our partner countries. And uh, the way uh, these questions are discussed for me are, are quite interesting. Uh, so I have, I have lots of, of, of learnings. Um, one key takeaway is also uh, that the, the way we work together um, has to be much more multi-sectoral in the future, I think. And uh, as we talk about integrated solutions, which by many of the speakers have been underlined, I think looking at how the different sort of intervention types and sectors interact with each other, how can we put value to these different concepts uh, that's central and that's a key takeaway for me from this conference. Uh, our project is represented with two inputs uh, to this conference. One input, actually it's more than two inputs. Uh, we have also provided uh, training opportunities. But one key session today will talk about the concept of agroecology, biodiversity and what role it can play uh, in rural development. And the other input will be on how land rights, collective land rights, securing traditional land rights can make a difference to uh, country programs and, and projects uh, when it comes to their effectiveness, to their implementation. And these two inputs we will provide today and tomorrow. And uh, I'm very curious to see how they will be perceived, how colleagues will react, and uh, what, if, what will the feedback be uh, that will also help us to fine tune our concepts and uh, yeah, maybe provide uh, additional the support and knowledge uh, from at the end. <laughs>